I want to show you how I make the perfect cup of coffee out of my SUV. So let's do it. Um, so first off, set up your spot, set up your gear. Today I'm using uh, my one and only cooking apparatus. So I'm using my Gas One stove, single burner, butane slash propane uh, fueled, and uh, my single pot right here. Um, all you gotta do is boil a cup of water, so that's what we're gonna start with, is boiling one cup of water. That going, uh, and I already have it ready to go. So we just click, click, and we got the fire going. So the way I make my coffee is with the AeroPress, uh, and this is very portable. I love it. This is all it is. So uh, while the water's boiling, I will go ahead and get this set up like this. Um, now I use a cup that this will fit right over the top, and I'll show you why. Just like that, where it can rest on top. Um, now the AeroPress comes with uh, these little filters like this. And so we wanna put that right on top of there, right on top of the cup. Um, so when I buy coffee, I tend to lean towards the middle range, not necessarily the cheapest, but also not like the most expensive. Somewhere in the middle, and if it's on sale, that's a bonus, because I'm still living out of a car. Today I'm using this Organics Sunkissed Blonde. So also the AeroPress comes with a scoop. And so we'll go ahead and measure our coffee out. The water is just getting ready to boil now. So I tend to do, this will depend on how strong you like your coffee, but I go with two and a half scoops. Um, that's just been like my sweet spot, I guess. This only makes one cup of coffee and that might not sound like a lot to you guys, but it makes it really good and really strong coffee. Coming from a person that usually needs multiple cups of coffee to get me through the day, I probably only need half the cups of coffee making it this way because it does makes it very, very good and very strong. As you can see, the water is boiling right now, so we'll go ahead and kill the gas and save the butane. So now what I do, I just have a saucepan. Is that what it's called? I think it's a saucepan where it's got the little finger, and basically that's the technical term for that. Um, and so basically I just go ahead and drip this right over the top of the coffee, nice and slow and even, and then I don't fill it all the way to the top because I'll show you why here in just one second. Um, as I see, my filter has flown off of my uh, off of my little strainer here. So we put let's do that again. We put this, uh, the filter right there, put it on top of the cup, and then I will dump a little more of this onto the filter to warm up the cup and the filter. Get that soaking, and then what I do before I dump the rest of the coffee is I'll take my spoon. You also need a spoon and I will give this a good stirring to mix all that coffee up because you're gonna notice that's gonna wanna sit on the top of the water. So that way you stir it up and you can see now it's like looking really nice there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and top her off. And you wanna make sure you kind of even surface so it doesn't tip. Believe me, it's happened many times and it's not pretty. Um, so then you take your filter and you screw it on. Now we wait. Patiently, two minutes. Hey Siri, set timer for two minutes. Okay, two minutes. A few moments later. This is my favorite part of this entire process. It is called the plunge, and this is where you take, you dump out the water. Almost on to Sam. Um, you put your cup up here, and then you flip it. Try to have a good space for this, and then you plunge. You just. You don't press too hard. You just let you let the the arrow press do its thing, and you know I don't. I just let it take its time because that's part of it. There it is, guys. Uh, sometimes it makes more than other times, but anyway, it smells so good. It is ready to drink now. Sometimes I'll give it one final stir. I think they say that's a good idea to give it one final stir just to make sure everything's mixed up and. Uh, then you drink it. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. And then all you gotta do to clean this up is take this off, and then you just push that out into the trash, and it just is like this little disc of coffee or whatever, and then you just rinse it, and then that's it. All right guys, so that is how you make a great cup of joe. A uh, pretty quick, handy solution for caffeine, on the go for my fellow coffee lovers. Let me know in the comments below how you like your coffee. And if you say first thing in the morning, you can go ahead and be excused. Okay, I'm really done now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy, please leave a like, 
comment down below. Subscribe for more travel videos. See you guys next time. And the moment you've all been waiting for.